Hello friend, today in this video we will see that how we can simply create a product category in Odoo. So uh, for the navigation we will just start typing of product category. So it will give me all the result related to the product category. So I am just clicking it here. It will land me on the page of product category. So for example if I want to add a product category related to the uh, printed item. So I just click here onto the new and I say that here we have uh, open up the category of printed item and if this is the uh, child of any uh, category so I can select it here so for example I am taking it under the all and now uh, I can select the routes if I want to use so currently as we have not discussed how the routes work in Odoo and how we can create routes so I'm just uh, skipping it here and we will see in our later videos now we have the costing method available here we can define either the standard costing method first in first out average costing method so I'm just taking it first in first out now uh, I have option of inventory valuation that uh, Odoo should uh, value your inventory manually or uh, it should be automatic so we, we we usually use the automated so at the movement of the item or the product it will automatically have the GL impact so once I have selected this so it will add uh, some more uh, accounts so we can define here now we have account properties here we can provide income account so once uh, this account will be used uh, if you want to sell this product so it will automatically credit uh, this account so for example if you are uh, going to sell this item of 100 bucks so it will debit your bank account or maybe account receivable account and it will credit this product sales account now for example if you want to uh, uh, sell this item and you want to manage the Cox account so here you will provide the Cox account in expense account so once you uh, once you sell this item so it will record the Cox from this account now we have this stock valuation account here uh, this account will be used when you will receive the inventory in your company so it will basically debit this account and uh, credit the input account and in, uh, input account may be uh, the uh, accrued payable account and then uh, here we have the stock output account so once you will uh, deliver this item from your location so it will basically uh, debit this account and credit your stock valuation account and here we can use this stock journal that in which journal I want to place this journal entry so uh, once we have configured this so we will just save this record so it will create a product category so stay tuned with us for more videos thank you